a lady faces family dilemma after arresting her brother for alleged misconduct involving household staff. According to her, she caught her brother forcing himself on their house help, and this has been going on for two months. Unfortunately, the family turned on her for not telling them before arresting him. What are your thoughts on this? Um, you can join the conversation 081 or 90 You tweet to us at TVC Connect using the hashtag your view TVC. So I read the full uh, story. So this uh, particular woman realized that the house help all of a sudden started being moody. So she felt uh, she was sick, asked her what was going on. Mm -hmm. uh, she said nothing, gave her money go to the hospital, take care of yourself. The house help used to be a very bubbly person. Mm -hmm. After the treatment, she was still frowning. She was still, like, withdrawn. And so she had to ask. Nothing happened. Then one day, because she, was, according to the story, said she was doing her master's, she came in earlier than usual and found her own brother forcing himself on the help. And she said she stood there and watched for over a minute so that she has clarity of what was happening. She realized I was forcing. And then she spoke up, and the guy started begging no, started lying, first of all, that uh, she was calling on to him, blah, 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 blah. But I said, no, I've been watching here. And finally took the girl into her bedroom, locked the door while the boy was protesting outside. And then the girl broke down and started crying and said that this has been happening for over two months, that she lost her virginity to him. He was... He raped her, basically, forced, forcefully took her virginity, and then he's been coming on to her for this long. While they were trying to treat her and everything, they realized that she was pregnant. But uh. before the treatment, the lady locked up her brother. And now, mommy, daddy comes to say, ah, ah, you should have discussed with us now. Family is everything. Don't do this. Don't do it. You're not supposed to do that. He's your brother after all, blah, blah, blah. And she told the uh, parents, I said, if this was your daughter, would you be on this stance? And they said, no, it doesn't matter, this, that, that, that. So the boy is still cooling off in the cell. Uh, the girl now says she wants to keep the pregnancy. Mm. The mother is voking on one hand. The father is trying to be the peacemaker, and now she's confused. She doesn't know, should she release the boy from, should, should they withdraw the case from uh, you know, police station so that the boy can come and take care of the pregnancy. She doesn't know what to do, and she's asking, what can we do, or what can we say to help her make a decision? Hmm. It's a painful It's story. a very difficult, difficult, you see, because the girl is pregnant, <laughs> he better come and take his responsibilities. So, so I, I feel, I feel that, the, that, that, that child. No, you think no, he, can rest, no. he can take care of that child? Why, okay, that's, does that, that's the does he have a job? No, he's 25. I don't know. That's the solution that we've done, used culturally, yes. which has seemingly permitted. No, no, no. I'm not saying release him, but he is responsible for that child. I'm not saying what he did was right. I'm not saying what she did. I'm saying she took the right decision. Yeah, by locking him up. By locking him up. Okay. She took the right decision. Mm. So I feel crime is a crime, and crime should be dealt with as a crime. Rape is a crime, mm. and there must be. Um, there must be consequences for the crime that he had carried out. Raping that girl is a crime. Family members tend to, family colors, say well, corruption is corruption until it becomes your cousin. Mm, Rape your brother. is a terrible thing un until it becomes a family member. So I, one, I want to even celebrate the lady for being yeah. confident enough to defend the defenseless. Yes. Because that's a maid in most cases, they treat them like second class citizens, that they're not human mm -hmm. beings, that they're just machines to work and make your house and your life easier. So one, she has done a good thing. And the family, the parents that are giving excuses should go and cover their face in shame. Mm. Because if they had done a good job raising the boy the and educated boy. that boy well, the boy will know that there is enough women out there that you can approach ah. willingly to be your companion in bed and you don't have to resort to rape to enjoy yourself. So one, I wanted that to be established. Two is, Police, um, going to the police, except somebody has a mental problem that is making them perpetually rape people, the reaction should be to understudy why they are doing what they are doing. It's to question, why would you, did you approach the girl? Is I it that you cannot me. control yourself? Mm. Is it that you are so attracted to this girl? Or, or is it that you feel you enjoy 
the only way you can enjoy having intimacy is by force. violence or force, so that you can actually understand what the problem is. What culturally will do is say, marry and start raising lie, the children. Lie. That is not the solution him. because if a man has, if the man has a problem, if that human being has a problem of rape as a source of pleasure, they would be in that circle forever. While we can empower with therapy to help them understand, this is not how for you to, you to get pleasure. This is how to be responsible as a man, and we can solve the problem. But punishment should be meted out for the action carried out, which is go to um, prison now. Empower the girl to take care of the child she's going to have. Empower people. This happen now. If you have a child, hey. you, oh, we you, empower you, the girl now. The, 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 the madam. Exactly. Yes, that, the girl. That, and the that, that's my point. Because what he did was wrong. What she did was right by having him arrested. I, I think she, she didn't... Now, where the problem is, is the pregnancy. Hmm. I will not say she, they should make her marry him, unless... Because why? This is her or, person. You know, this is someone that raped, raped her, hmm. you know? But she now wants that baby. Does she really want the baby? So she thinks she wants the no baby. Option, no. So people don't we, see... We, we don't don't abortion know. is not an option. For we those don't, that we don't, we don't know if she wants the baby, yeah. but it's not a thing. I, I don't know. You know, the, the age is her age. She's Eighteen. It's ah oh, God. The baby. She wants the baby. Yeah, she wants her baby. Let me hear your thoughts, Nima. Okay, so uh, like Dr. did, I wanted to just comment the girl. I read the story a while back, and I was really very impressed with that girl. Mm. You know, for taking a stand because on your feet the first time when it's a family member, it's usually selfish. Yeah. To, you know, mm. and it's the first, the selfish way is to, the first way. But for her to be concerned about another human in her, within her own home is something commendable yeah. and something that we should replicate. So I want to commend her. I'm more than impressed with mm. her. But as YK said, he gets complex when it becomes like this. And this is my suggestion. There was a time when I said people should allow consequences and find it okay to still love their loved ones while they're meeting, facing their, their consequences. consequences. Mm. Mm. Do you understand? Yes. So God forbid our family members end up in prison. It's okay to cook food and give them while they're waiting out their time. And when they come back, we love them because they mm. have been reformed. Mm -hmm. What we don't want to see is that we say our family name has become stained. Mm. So it should not go. Let never, it should Let's never hide ever it. Go. Let's cover it. Mm. This boy learned besides his parents' help to rape people. Mm. If you don't want to enable him, you have to allow him face the consequence, mm. which is what the parents are not seeing. To help him out mm. and arrange a cover-up of this is to enable him for life and mm -hmm. it will destroy more continue. lives. Yeah. And it could even extend to your grandchildren. He's 25. You see it. Mm. So yes. He's a man. Yes. He's so man. you have to take a stand. The way the boy will look back and say, ah, this is my parents, and that learning curve would, would forever be utilized. Mm. So you take that stand as the sister has done. He will never dare to rape somebody in the circle of his sister in his life. Mm. Or even or that, or ever lies. again, anybody. or anybody ever again. Yeah. Because he will not have expected that. But when the parents are now blaming the sister and blaming mm. that blame, mm. playing your that family, blame, your brother, you are enabling him. The parents are very yeah, wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll cycle back now, to the Now, let's get back to the fact that they have a grandchild in waiting. Mm. God Aye. is magnanimous. Oh in waiting, what? Mm -hmm. Yes, so mm -hmm. God is magnanimous in the sense that as one not get sense, you have the ch chance to redo well, mistakes. to redo your mistakes with another. Take the child and the girl and do better. But, you know, we, we have this format that it must just work out the way we want out mm. so that society says that mm. there's nothing wrong with you as a parent because your child didn't work out. You did well, but this child, you know, there's part of society that forms part of learning. Let me take this call. I'll come back. Nima, Let's sorry, pause on that day well. You, you must look after that child. Yes. Ah. So we have point. a Akonde from Ogba. Good morning, Akonde. Sorry, he, he, he must Point. look after that. He must yes. come out and look after that no, child. He no, he doesn't know. And he doesn't have to be. You know, sometimes when in his actions, there's a level, a percentage of faults from the parents. You see the way they are blaming the mother. The mother was daughter. reacting, yes. The way the mother was I, I reacting. So there's a level of fault that maybe she overloved and over enabled some certain parts of him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that he has a child coming, you will extend the love that you want to use to pamper him to that child and do better in raising that child. 
but not that he will face the consequence. Yeah, but the mentality because of this woman now, who talking? is saying that's the modern, the mm. modern, who is mm. saying that uh, you should, should have, have taken, you know, you should have, uh, you shouldn't have uh, arrested, arrested your brother. Your brother. Yeah, yeah, you you think that kind of woman will look after that girl? She will frustrate that girl. No, that's uh, why we're advising. That you see no this, this daughter, like, the, like, be, the, the, you see this mm. daughter, she has done nothing in this whole mix wrong. Yes. And she should be a support. She's already supporting the mother of, uh, of her niece or nephew in <laughs> waiting. Wow. Yes. Nima, let me she pause this. Supported so to carry out that call. call. Support. Yeah, we have James from Germany. Good morning, James. Sir, good morning. Good morning. You're live. So I, good morning, sister. I... I've been following your program uh, today. I'm still on I'm holiday. I just want to appreciate Volume, please. Because... Okay. I said I've been following your program. Thank um, you. Today, I want to appreciate you, ladies. Thank because you. Because one time, uh, some months ago, I was really, really very angry with you, ladies. But today, the way you could dress and the way you could do, so beautiful and it's really portraying. You are Nigerians, you are Africa, you know. I really want to appreciate you. I'm so glad you could dress and come out in this form today. Because for what you are seeing in Western country here uh, is, is, is really not uh, appreciated to us. For what we see our ladies on the TV also, because the majority of our children here are view you people. We want them to learn a different thing from, from what they have seen here. Okay, thank Please, you for I'm appreciating really us. I'm happy for what I'm seeing today. Thank you. That's why I call in to, to thank appreciate you, James. you uh, Nima, you yeah. were... Okay. So, you know, she needs to be supported <laughs> to continue to give that support. When she's they are playing this guilt tripping, you know, there's this moment when you doubt sometimes whether you, you, you're doing something right. Mm. And the way the parents are doing that guilt tripping, she'll sometimes be looking at her brother as my brother. She'll right she question thing. her... Mm. A Herself, decision. Yeah. So she needs to be given that support. And her parents, whether or not they agree, they should learn that they have gained. The girl don't get belly. This is a chance to redo your uh, right your wrongs. Hey. Yes. Take that grandchild, <clears throat> not expecting him to come and marry her as a repair. Mm -hmm. There's nothing. There's nothing good he can do for that girl. He Hello. damaged no, her he and took him. from her wrongly. It's not that repair that they used to do in the day you're married. Because she's going to just go into a lifetime of continuous suffering. Mm. Yes. Mm. So, trauma. yes, and trauma. And she lives with her, with her oppressor. She will be traumatized for life. Mm. But you can yeah, help. Yeah. You as the parents can say, this is our grandchild. Show up every day. Do better for that grandchild. Take away the rights you want to give him. Help that give child. When he child. comes out repaired, because he would have faced the consequences, he will meet a child he can redo his own wrong by. Mm. But when you damage, cancel the mother, cancel the child, and then something happens tomorrow, you now come. You know the funny thing? In Yoruba movies, we see it a lot. And Yoruba families, I've seen, at least I've you seen How to forgive. When my late friend died, the Yoruba family he was from gathered the girlfriend and asked, are you pregnant? They did not rush to do it, you know. But once their son died, they rushed that they want to collect the picking. Yes. The picking. So you will see it in African movies where the boy raped the girl, but they did not collect. Mm. Then they will now, the mother now is now nice. old. There was one, one African movie, was, it was a Delta Ebo kind of setting. It was the Delta, uh, what do they call their movie in Hollywood? Delta. And a Saba, Saba movie. movie. <laughs> so she now drove car, <laughs> carried the, went to carry the help yeah. whose daughter they mm. rejected to find baby wage she don't give for it. They went to, in the entire movie, to the end, driving ah, around they didn't see the to baby. collect the picking. Yeah. You know? So all these kind of funny, yes, funny examples. It's yeah. not, you, so it's let's not, take the score. There are ways to go about it. Honorably, yeah. take care of your child. Elizabeth from Makadi. Good morning, Elizabeth. How are you, lady? We're doing amazing. Um, Thank you. Yeah, it's nice to call it. On this issue, I want to say that that lady is actually redeeming the name of her family because um, taking care of that woman that was with, taking care of that woman or the waiting, arresting the young woman, with time, the parents will come to see that somebody is trying to put the image of that family in a better way a better perspective. Mm. I think we should encourage the woman and then the, the, they want to keep the baby. I mean, you, although I know the uh, doctor is saying that boyfriend is not an option, 
But the girl that has the baby is not even asking for an abortion. Mm, if she, she wanted an abortion, she should be given. If she wanted an abortion, she should have been given the right. It's her right. But she wants to keep the baby, and then hey, the sister is going to end up taking this responsibility. And I applaud her because she's going to be right. Mm. Any time the father comes out from prison, he should come and face the consequences of what he has done, mm. and see that people are trying to see him more because. The truth is that there is no guarantee that will not with another girl mm. when he comes another out. Another person, yeah. That's yeah. true. So, Especially with the sort of correctional systems that we have. Mm. We he, he, he should face the music of what he did. I mm -hmm. have no qualms about that. Mm -hmm. But that baby, that is part of his music. Mm. Exactly. Mm. So when he comes out, that baby, he must... You, he will work and support there are, the baby. There, there, are, yes. there are surprise. Yeah, there are ways that when he comes out, he will not want to see the baby. Mm. The baby oh. will not want to see him. It have That's to see the role the of the grandparents to Just create the room for both of them to be able to accept each other and his repair. He is, you will he, not want he, to see your baby. Healing. Not be uh -uh. put and dear. No, he put him there. But you know, say so go see they hate the consequence. Because mm. they say you is not now one do I do now you come. You understand? No, but no, when no, you're no, no, when no, the baby is much. well cared for, when you don't reject the baby along with him, you mm. now shame him go take. Face in picking. Finally, don't be saying yeah. go just stop on head. Mm. Yeah, let me you, right. yourself as a parent. So um, I'm of the opinion that we also need to protect that child. So I, I'm watching a series and the mother had a child at, I think she was 13 as a result of rape. And she gave up the child for ad adoption. The child now came to find her. And every time she looks at the child, she remembers the process she had that child. And the child is having to deal with the trauma of, I, I was abandoned by my mom and my mom still doesn't want to see me mm. without realizing the back, which is, you are a product of rape. Um, I, I think it's important that when we talk about this thing, about product of rape, or product product of sexual violence, we preserve. We don't. We don't. We don't call the child. A, we don't wear that label on the child mm -hmm. because so, while some children can be like the way Helen Paul was able to come out and of it out, yeah. and and take own it as my story that this is what they said about me, but my grandmother told me this is not who you are and this is who you should become and she was able to benefit and build resilience from that painful past. Some people will say, oh, they said I cannot amount to anything, that I'm a product of rape, and they don't amount to much. Mm -hmm. So parents who have, um, pe people who are surrounding children who have such background should do a whole lot in assuring them that they are born for a purpose mm -hmm. and that their destiny is not going to be marred by where their origin story is from. But I'm going to once again applaud that um, young woman for supporting this maid um, and, and um, ensuring that justice is meted out even to our own blood. But there are many people that have done this. Uh, um, somebody on uh, you know, YouTube is saying that her own mom, I mean, her mom sent her brother to prison because mm -hmm. the boy was being wayward. Mm -hmm. And there are parents that do that. And we must applaud them because it takes a lot of discipline for you to say, I am going to show you mm -hmm. that because I will, I, don't want, I will do everything I can do to ensure you turn out right. So um, my, shout my, out my to all you. No know one here would. My yeah. father has arrested, oh, yeah. has arrested his son. Yeah. <laughs> Say, you not, oh, I yes. just heard somebody calling me. I did, I'm in the police station. What happened? Three, three of you, three boys, what happened to you people? He said, Daddy arrested them. <laughs> yes, now, because we see it. You but know, you don't but, raise but, those children but, well. So, but let, let's circle later. back to um, how this mom parents. raised this boy. That's both parents now. Raised the boy different from the girl because they are siblings. The girl is standing on justice. This is not acceptable. This is not what you should do. You must face the consequence. The mom is saying, ah, because he's your brother, you should let it slide. So how did you... That, that, that brings us back to how we... They were both raised. Yes. We raise girls different from how we raise our boys in our society. And then we go back and complain that we have boys who are not responsible in the society. So what advice would you give to women who are raising boy child, uh, uh, boy children and girl children? How do we ensure that we do not raise them differently, where we are always, you know, allowing the boy get away with a lot of things? He's a boy now. He's a boy now. Bring them up the same way. That's the only advice. Yes. They are the same. The boy and the girl. In fact, sometimes make the boy even look after the girl because he's the man. So make him, make him more responsible yes. for the girl. Um, I, I've always said this story of um, this, when I was, um, my daughter was a baby, I was, our next, next door neighbors, 
the, the, the boy was, mm -hmm. the mother would say, if you tell him to go to the kitchen, he'll be crying. He'll be crying. And I was so angry. Mm -hmm. And I was like looking at her, thinking, he will be crying. Make him go to the kitchen. Yes, but sir. the girl will go to the kitchen. Uh, and the boy will Make be crying. The, and, and the boy will be crying. What's that? Come on, let both of them, you know, give them the same Equal. upbringing. Mm -hmm. Equal, you know. Yeah. So because let's take this call. To me, all human beings are equal. Equal. <laughs> ah. yes, so. But some why you call the others. I call it ah. animal farm. Just kidding. <laughs> so in from Ikeja, good morning. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I want to contribute to this topic because I feel it's of two ways. Um, the lady should be applauded for doing that. Was such a spontaneous, I'm sure it was a spontaneous reaction that must have come from a place of being proper. That was what happened because if she had thought about it more, in an African, you'll have stopped a bit mm -hmm. and considered your parents. But it was beautiful of her to just act that way. Mm -hmm. I feel it should be two ways. Mm -hmm. I think it's high time sometimes we legalize abortion. Mm -hmm. How old is this girl in question? 18. Years. 18. How long are you? 18 years. How, how long, how, how many weeks or how long is this pregnancy? Because she might be saying she's not this baby now. Mm -hmm. It's a long thing. If we legalize abortion, you will know that this child is coming for a purpose also. There's a lot of trauma in this place. If some, if, if it takes someone to be gifted to take care of another person's room. You can advise all you want. Oh, take care of this girl. Take care of the child. Take care of the child that is coming. There are a lot of people that even, they can't even stand their own house up. They can't even take care of their own niece or cousin or somebody. They treat them lesser than their own children. And then you want them to take care of somebody that, is, that, that was raped, his son is in prison and all of that. It takes a lot mm. that you want to put on an 18 year old. You have to kind of train the parents of this 18 year old. Mm. And then this girl is going to sound, she's not sound enough to be able to say, I want to raise this child. She needs to be oriented and know mm. what it means. Mm. Mm. To raise Even the nine months is a lot for an 18 year old. Mm. It's, it's a lot. It's and then, but the man that I called in and I was saying, you know, you ladies, please let your children and your family be trained by your own children. Don't come and put your insecurities on your two ladies' dress. Chineke Gaziegi, Auntie. Thank you very much. Chineke Seriously. <laughs> put me on a pedestal and not put myself. Anyway, uh, we're going to be taking a short break, but let's quickly wrap up this conversation. I think yes, we've finished I, it. Yes, to a large extent. I, I, I'm, I feel we have, but no, people have called a few touch. times concerning abortion. Mm -hmm. And I don't think, abortion, if, if Nigeria doesn't have a law against, like, you I don't do. know. You do. No, no, if, if, if you... Maybe because I'm an adult. Yeah. If I go, if you are an, as an adult, if you do, if you carry out, if you were raped and you go into the hospital, you are allowed to the flush people system in the hospital. Is it is if you now go as say you don't carry belay, go to abortion. Fast, they do no, abortion. abortion. No, it's it's allowed. Allowed. they do. No, if you have, if you go for rape and you go for rape kits, they give you mm -hmm. med drugs now. Post rape, yes, rape, uh -huh. they will give Flush. you drugs uh -huh. to prevent. Yes, don't be saying the picking don't establish. Mm -hmm. okay. One go there, don't count to abort. Yeah. It's, it's illegal. illegal. Yes, it's illegal. With that in mind, the lady's she's conversation two months pregnant. is very valid. In that you can say we need to now take it to our law makers that can we have a conversation around it. It has caused major crisis in the U.S. Uh, uh, pro abortion and anti abortion, and is a religious. Um, sentiments. The religious um, sentiment mm -hmm. decision. But people should be allowed to say that because of the, uh, um, the trauma that this child came through, I want to make a decision not to go ahead. Do we come back child. to this topic? Because the way Nima is raising her now, let's take a shot. I just want to quickly add something small. Oh, yeah, add, let's be going. Mm -hmm. I want so to just as she has as, are we going? Just as she going are asking to, uh, for abortion to be legal, yeah. mm. can we ask that a mother can choose to keep her baby? Yes. If she wants yes. The so girl is 18. Mm -hmm. She's not a minor. Mm -hmm. She can choose to keep a baby, no matter the circumstance of Does she understand of, of the implications birth. of keeping that baby? It doesn't matter. Decision. Even if it was a foolish decision at the time, yes. she's yes. mental so, about it. Let she, her keep her baby. Yes. The decision um, is hers. Yeah, Let and I also know according to, well. yeah, according to the law, the uh, rape case is a state case. So mm. even yeah, if yeah. the parents go back to plea yeah, that they want to take back this case, the, the case state would, would handle it mm. and the boy will face the consequences. Yeah, but he's going to face the consequences. He don't get jail now. Thank you so much, uh, this uh, lady who <laughs> was able to arrest her own brother for mm -hmm. this. Uh, God bless you. That's standing for justice and you know, standing for the vulnerable people mm -hmm. in the society. We'll take a short break now. When we come back, we'll move on to yet another topic. Stay with us. Stay tuned. Your View will be right back. <laughs> 